I'm going to turn this £10 into £100 today and I'm going to show you exactly how I do it. charity shop of the day done that was nine pound fifty spent i'll go through now how much exactly i did make from all of those purchases right then we're back in the shop now and i'm just going to go through exactly um what we bought with that 10 pounds i was on about and the profit we made so first up we got these top trumps fortnite top trumps one pound fifty there um i'll pop up a set listing ebay listing on screen to show you how much they're worth on ebay um next up we got this um, Jack Tissot shirt. I'm gonna move the tag. There you go. Um, yeah, pretty cool shirt. Four pounds, and again, I'll pop up on screen how much that is on eBay, roughly. They may not be the same items, um, but just as a rough, rough estimate. Last but not least, to make up to that nine pound fifty that we did spend, we've got these golden corduroy trousers. Um, from house, where's it gone? I'll edit this out, don't worry. Uh, house of Brewer there, really cool pair of trousers. Um, yeah, again, I will pop up on screen how much they're going for on eBay and I paid four pounds for them. So as you can see, it's entirely possible to start this side hustle from as little as 10 pounds. Now that then three items cost me nine pounds 50 from one charity shop. I was probably in there for 10 minutes. Um, and I know I said to make it into £100, but what I would do then is go back with my profits and I would then spend those, um, basically reinvest them, reinvest the money, keep churning it over, is what I've been doing. And I would now do it for a living. Um, as you can see, this is all my stock. And this is what I picked up today, all here um, on the floor. Loads of toys, loads of books, not, no, but not books, sorry, loads of board games, loads of different bits. Um, I'm going to go through that now. Well, it'll be now for you, but it'll be tomorrow for me because it's getting late and I'm going to go home. But, um, but yeah, I'm going to go through exactly what I uh, picked up from both charity shops and uh, Facebook Marketplace. So yeah, let's have a little quick look. It's a new day and we're back. Um, yeah, we're going to go through, obviously, what's down there. So let's get into it. Um, does anyone else have those days where you're just really inefficient? Because I'm having one of those days. Um, <laughs> But I've just cranked a coffee, so if that doesn't fix it, we're all fucked. But um, but yeah, I just can't seem to get in the swing of things today. But um, but yeah, we'll we'll plod along. We'll get done what we can. Let's get, let's get into that. I'm talking nonsense. Let's get into what we picked up yesterday. Bam! Camera set up on my tripod. Um, let's go through what we got. So a lot of it was from charity shops and. Of the, of the other half, it's probably half and half, maybe a little bit more, but it was from um, Facebook Marketplace. So it's, it's this say half and half charity shops, Facebook Marketplace. Um, I'm going to be lucky if I can remember what I paid for stuff. A lot of it probably will be ticketed if it was from a charity shop. If not, I'll try and remember, but you know, I've slept since then, and I so you know, um, but yeah, we got an absolute boatload of stuff basically. Um, and that's the end of the video, thanks guys. <laughs> no, right, let's go through. So I picked up, I think it was 50 pounds for just bags and bags of, um, is it Paw Patrol? Like kids toys, this is a sort of, um, certain like TV program, whatever it is. Um, but yeah, just bags and bags of it. I mean, yeah, honestly, just hundreds and hundreds of it. So I'm going to lay it out on the photo table now just to show you exactly what we picked up for that £50. Pounds. Um, but I think it was a bargain considering what they sell for on eBay. But yeah, let's have a little look. All right, then this is sort of the main bulk with the bigger stuff. Um, and then we've got this bag here separate. Um, but yeah, as you can see, there's absolute hundreds of it. And I think these these like bundle up to sell for one or two of these and some figures for about £20. Pounds, so... So now I think I could bundle it up into smaller bits and I feel like I can earn that back um, quite quickly, to be honest with you, at £50. Um, I feel like there was more than that, but I'm not sure. There might be some. Yeah, there is. There's another little bucket down there that I'll quickly show you. 
I think the other bucket's in the van, but there is another little steel set. But again, even just for this lot, I feel like it's, you know, I've seen bundles this size all together for about eighty pounds on eBay already. So, for, if I can split that up, it's um, yeah, nice bit of profit in that. And then as we turn it turn it around here, I think there's some more um, toys in there. But yeah, we can see these um, massive like Batman towers. I've got Batman tower. There's another Batman tower that needs a bit of a wash. Um, but all these like toy action figure toys that sell for about ten pounds each on eBay. I mean that's probably twenty pounds each for that big one. And they they were a couple of um, Facebook market pickups. I think there was two lots, two two bundles, one for a tw uh, twenty pounds, one for ten pounds. Um, so thirty pounds all in. And I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight houses out of that. And there's a bucket of um, of figures as well. So again nice bit of profit in that it's probably the one of the better pickups of the day actually that was all facebook pickups and i'm going to show you the charity shop stuff that we managed to get um which was pretty good um so it's just to start off we've got red these red dunlop these are golf trousers brand new uh so eight pound fifty paid and i believe they retail for like uh it says on a 30 quid so i'll probably make about a tenner on those not amazing to be honest with you but um Again, if you, you know, enough enough tenors makes uh makes hundred quid sort of thing, um yeah. But you got you know, it's this easy pick up. I was in the shop, might as well pick it up and make a tenner on it. Um, in the same charity shop, picked up this like po Manchester United polo, uh for eight pounds again. Again, probably about a ten pa tenner in that time I post it, and the fees. But again, it was in the ch same charity shop, so the time I was in there. To pick up twenty pounds worth of flip is pretty pretty good, pretty efficient. Um, this is it's all charity shops now. What I'm going to show you, but different charity shops, obviously. Um, this Minecraft game, I've seen it new, brand new, was selling for about thirty pounds. Picked that up for for five pounds there on the top. So so hopefully I can um, get maybe twenty achieve twenty for it plus the postage something like that. Um, the box looks like it's in good nick. I don't know what the inside looks like. I haven't even looked, but um. But yeah, if it's selling brand new for thirty pounds, I feel like I can at least make at least make a tenner on it. Um, but I feel like I'll make a bit more than that. And then we've got, and then we've got these um, WWE. Uh, yeah, it's WWE action figures. This one's the coolest one. Got um, like a cape that. Oh, right on the chin. Got my dinner. Bloody bastard. Yeah, the wings. Oh shit, the wings go. The wings go up and down. He's got a little herd. That's a really cool one. I don't actually know who that is, but nonetheless, uh, someone will. An actual WWE fan will. Uh, we've got this one. Again, I probably should know who that is, but I don't because I'm uncultured. But um, but yeah, that's another good pickup. These are a couple quid each. Bundle them up, probably for twenty quid, something like that. They are big ones, especially this one. This one's really cool with the wings um and there was a last one in there yet <laughs> i think this one's john cena no i know that's not john cena but again i don't <laughs> i don't know who that is but um but yeah someone will some wwe fan will think it's a bargain for 20 quid or so so that's a nice bit of profit there um another we got another jigsaw puzzle i managed to pick up a beano one pretty cool uh, how much I pay for that one? Three pound ninety nine. Again, not bad. I look. I can't remember how much it was on eBay now, but I looked it up and I was happy with the profit to be made in that when I was in the shop. So uh, it must have been a reasonable amount. Uh, what else did we manage to pick up? We picked up. Oh yes. Now I took. I took a bit of a chance on on this one. Um, it's a VR headset. Pretty cool. Looks to be in good condition. But I paid fifteen pounds for it. Now, I know I don't know why, <laughs> why I picked it up. I bought it and instantly thought I probably shouldn't have. But um, it was on eBay, brand new for thirty pounds. It was selling for brand new, and it looks to be in good condition. So um, hopefully I can get twenty five for it and just maybe maybe make a fiver or a tenner on it. But yeah, I'm not too hopeful about that. But again, it's a, it's a cool thing to sell, I guess. I don't know. But um, but yeah. Probably shouldn't have picked that one up. That's probably the only one of the day I picked up without really thinking about it. 
Um, but who knows? I might I might get twenty five to thirty quid for it. I don't think it is brand new, but it looks like it could be type of thing. So um, yeah, I have to check that out and see if there's any pre pre owned ones on there that are selling. I couldn't see any in the, when I was in the shop, and I didn't want to hang around too long. So I just I just took a chance on it basically. Um, last but not least, well actually not last but not least, but another item we picked up is a webcam trust trust webcam there three pounds yeah three pounds i believe ten pounds on ebay brand new which this one is so again cheap and cheerful quick little bit of profit nothing nothing insane nothing's gonna you know nothing to write home about but it's ten pound profit at the end of the day and um and yeah i've got loads of space i don't know if you know but i moved locations i used to be in the garage and now i'm in the back of a shop and the space uh, I've got compared to the garret I used to have is like 4X. So basically I can afford to pick up these little bits. I only make five, 10 pounds on just because I've got so much more room now I can actually store it. As where before it was like, I really had to pick and choose. So I really, really had to be fussy because um, yeah, I couldn't just load up on something I was going to make a fiver on because it's a waste of space and it gets in the way. And if it sits there for a while, it's a nightmare. But now I've got this extra room I really can just start picking little bits up, um, which is awesome, which I'm really happy about. But um, yeah, this is another piece we picked up. I really like the picking up the ball games, to be honest with you. This is a trivia game, WWE. What I could do, I suppose, is bundle this up with the figures. Hmm, interesting. That might be a little bit niche, though. I'll probably sell them separately, because I think there's enough money in this one. To sell it separately but um but yeah pretty cool little uh, trivia ball game there paid five pounds i can't maybe 20 i can't remember how much this was on ebay but i remember it being quite a quite a hefty bit of profit again 10 15 pounds something like that which is which is really cool especially for a ball game because they they stack and they store really neatly like, especially if you just put them in a big storage box that you, and then you can stack those boxes they don't get in the way at all so so yeah that's um that's really cool yeah, so that's everything we picked up yesterday, I believe. Um, really happy with it. I can't remember how much we spent, but it was over, at least over £125, something like that. Excuse me. But yeah, definitely doubled that. Definitely doubled that uh, yesterday, which is really cool. Um, really happy with it. Good little haul. Just, again, trying to, trying to grow the business at the minute because, like I said, I was in a small shed and now I've got this massive, in comparison, massive space. So I'm just trying to, um, you know, just grow it out and, and really try and reinvest everything I have, I make from it back into it to obviously to grow it. Um, but yeah, it'll get there. We've just got to plod along, try and stay patient with it. We've got quite a lot as it is at the minute anyway, but um, but yeah, there's a lot of empty space and a lot of dead space where we can we can fill it up and put stock in. So, so yeah. For the rest of the day, it is currently, I don't know what time it is, I think it's about three o'clock, half two, three o'clock. I'm just going to be listing up items onto my eBay now, because obviously, as you can see, I've got loads to list um, from yesterday. So I'm just going to go through, plod along, put on my um, Joe Rogan, Theo Von podcast. Very good, very nice. Uh, <laughs> a few laughs in that, no doubt. Um, and yeah, just plod along, list up as much as we can. Um, and yeah, make some money, baby.